Well, a lot of folks have a lot of digging out to do in South Lake Tahoe, the city there and right on the border of California and Nevada. Look at that. A five decade old snowfall record receiving more than 200 inches of snow this month. Some folks completely snowed in. Others say it's just taken days just to clear snow from around their homes to be able to venture out. Look at all of that. And if you want a real indication of just how high that snow is, take a look at this. This youngster, excited young man, launching himself from the porch of his house into the snow below, completely submerged. He's safe. This boy's dad says uh, he's more than five feet tall, so that snow piled in the front yard is at least five feet high, if not. I mean, that is incredible. And I know uh, over, the, over the past year or so, there's been concern about drought and what have you in that part of the country. Maybe not having to worry about that right now as a result of all that snow. When that snow melts, you've got plenty of water now. I uh, do have plenty of water. They'll take all that they can get. Uh, so, Steve, you know, we are we're not going to be seeing anything like that here in North Texas. If that was on the way, we'd have a lot to talk about. Now, I still have a lot to talk about as we're looking ahead the next six days. Going into tomorrow, your temperature mid 70s. Even for a New Year's Eve day in the mid 70s. We then ring in the new year, and then boy, do the colder temperatures arrive for us late in the day on Saturday. You're going to be bundling up, and by Sunday, it's going to be a day to maybe just hang out inside if you can because temperatures are going to be pretty cold for us. And on top of that, we're going to be dealing with the wind on the way. So, New Year's Eve rain and storms also in the forecast. Told you that at the top of the newscast. So, let's look at it again. Here we are at noon on Friday. So, planned for the potential of some scattered showers around. And then later in the evening, maybe as you're heading out to celebrate New Year's Eve, stay weather aware because we'll have some isolated storms popping up. Some of those storms could border severe. Looking at the latest data coming in, still right around about three to four, we might see some of those scattered storms moving their way on in. Now, this forecast model, I'm looking at this with you right now. I'm analyzing with you, still showing maybe a line trying to come together, but it looks a little bit weaker as we're going to be going into the overnight hours, but still some rain and storms are on the way for us. So that's why the Storm Prediction Center does have us under a marginal risk of severe storms for maybe some of those gusty winds and maybe some smaller hail into late Friday night and then into Saturday. Then the other story, strong cold front on Saturday. This is going to get your attention. Plan now, and you probably need a plan to cover up the pipes possibly this week and get those plans in place because our temperatures, it's a Saturday morning, not too bad, 60s, 70s, the noontime hour. Then as we go into the afternoon, to the, then the evening hours, already below freezing in Bowie to Gainesville, upper 30s to the low 40s. And then by the time we get to Sunday morning, forecasting the mid to the low 20s. So a hard freeze all the way for us going into Sunday morning, then into the afternoon hours on Sunday into the low 40s. But on top of that, I told you Sunday, you want to make some plans to be inside. Here's why. By the time we go into late Saturday, it's going to feel like the teens to the single digits. Same story going into Sunday morning. You're going to wake up 5 to 7 o'clock to that feels like temperature, maybe 9 in Fort Worth or 11 in Dallas to 9 in Mineral Wells. And then as we go into the afternoon hours, still feeling like the mid 20s. So big changes on the way for us. The seven day forecast shows we're going to be seeing a large amount of rain, 70 to 60% chance Friday night into Saturday. Then on Sunday, your high of 40, still Monday morning, 28 degrees. Then we warm up to the 70s by Wednesday.